rebound loose in the corner. Cole Cece went down. There's a shot from Fia. High slot, save made. And within 30 seconds of the start of this game, a couple of good scoring chances by the Birmingham Bulls. But Cole Cece, right on the spot, makes the save and keeps the score at 0-0. McGregor Sinclair, Troy McTavish, Matt Wiesner out for Birmingham. Defensively, Ryan Romeo and Matt Clark. Scotty Curtin, along with Bronson Adams, Logan Vandemarocker, and Grant Spence for Evansville, who's on the draw with Sinclair. Puck. Unfairly dropped, so we'll do it again. McGregor Sinclair will get tossed, and in his place will come Matt Wiesner. Faced off to the left of Cole Cece in the Evansville zone. Puck is dropped behind the goal line, taken by Yuskevich. He'll get it ahead to Scotty Curtin, and he'll skate in towards the Bulls zone. Far side pass, Vandermeer. Rocker, a shot score! He snuck that in the far right post. And 42 seconds into this one, Evansville on their first shot on goal makes it a 1 0 lead. That was a surprise for Vandermeer Rocker. That's his second goal of the playoffs. He scored one Thursday night in Evansville. We'll get the assist in a moment. But 42 seconds into this, and after a flurry by Birmingham, Evansville on their first rush takes the lead at 1-0. Here's the call. Logan Carson Vander Rose. Glover will go to the slot. Backhands the pass over for Ryan Romeo. Kozarev. Cross ice pass. Glover score! That pass was intended for Nikita Kozarev. Evansville got their stick in the passing lane. And the puck deflected right to Drake Glover, who made no mistake. And the Bulls on the power play tie this one up at one to one. 7.04, the time of the goal for Birmingham. And I feel a little better now. For Drake Glover. Led the league in goal scores. Here's the call. Score, number 19. One in blocked the side by Stewart. Hobbs takes the rebound. There's a centering pass. Vesjok and they score. I knew it would happen. Too long that line stayed out. We just could not get control of the puck and clear it out of the zone. And that line of Mass and Wiesner. And McTavish was just out far too long. They were out of gas. And look out with a minute and 50 to go here in the second period. The Evansville Thunderbolts have regained the lead at 2-1. to one. Played far side. Vance will get it out. Now it's tipped away. Here comes McGregor Sinclair with Wiesner. Shot score! Oh, baby, what a goal! And what a time for it! That puck was tipped through center ice. McGregor Sinclair just poked it by the defense. Catched up with the puck. Right wing board side found the streaking Matty Wiesner. And Birmingham has tied the game at two. Wow. That's Wiesner's first goal of the playoffs. We'll get the call in a moment. I feel a little better, but not a lot. Score, man number 54, Matt Wiesner. His 11th goal of the season, his first for the playoffs. The assist to the boards. Glover couldn't keep it in. Spence skates away with it. Vance is going to have to hurry. Yuskevich takes the drop. Fast score. Holy cow. That one may be the one.
15, 32, the time of the goal. Rebound comes right back to Nikita. Down low. Back to Kozarev, to Romeo. Kozarev. Down low, score! Drake Glover! Behind the goal line, far left post. Tips the puck in. And on the power play, Lincoln Hatton coming to the bench, just shaking his head in disbelief. And to be honest with you, I don't blame him. Drake Glover has had one heck of a season. Leads the league in goal scoring, and that is why. I can't take this. Oh, my. 16-29, time of the goal. Here's the call. Goal score by number 19, Drake Lover. His 37th of the season, his third of the postseason. The assist, number seven, Nikita Kozarev. And number nine. Yuskevich, tried to get away from Vance. He cuts behind the Bulls' net. Played by Hobbs. In front, they score. Hobbs buries it, and this game and series is done. Evansville found the puck along the near boards here. Hobbs, the former bull, cruising in front of the net. There was absolutely nothing Hayden Stewart could do. Hobbs found the puck, made no mistake. Forehand shot, buries it, and this game and series is history. Evansville four, Birmingham three. Once again, another overtime loss for Birmingham. Not quite sure what to say, except I had a bad feeling about overtime, as I said, when we came in. It's been a great year for the Bulls, winning the regular season championship, but at the end of the day, winning first place in the regular season just simply means you won first place in the regular season, Evansville. We'll go on to the second round. Peoria will take on Evansville in the second round. And Huntsville and Roanoke will as well in the semifinals. As we watch the players and fans at least thanking each other, cheering for each other, I know that what we see down on the ice from the Birmingham Bulls is utter dejection and once again another overtime loss the greatest ritual in hot or in sports is the handshake after a hard fart series both teams either a celebrate and another one is dejected but they all get together at center ice shake each other's hands Sometimes give each other a hug and they go to their perspective locker rooms and move on one way or another. However, this one's done. This season is in the books. And the Birmingham Bulls will get ready and prepare for next season. It's been a lot of fun. I wish this was moving on to the semifinals. But it's not. Only one team can win. Eight teams to begin this thing. Only one comes out of it. Nobody remembers who wins the regular season. Nobody remembers who comes in second place at the end of the playoffs. You only remember one thing, who wins the championship. I don't know what's going to happen. But I have a feeling that Roanoke and Peoria We'll have a lot to say about who wins this championship. I wish Birmingham did as well. Well, Greg Draveny is not with me tonight, and that's too bad. I'd love to at least shake his hand and give him a hug and thank him for all the 
the time and effort he put in with me this year, as well as Pat Johnson on the road. He and I went to Evansville for this playoff series Thursday night. I went a week before that by myself, but it just was not meant to be. That's all there is to it, and that's all that needs to be said. Birmingham loses to the Evansville Fun Thunderbolts 4-3 in overtime to end the season. Four teams move on, Birmingham not one of them. It's been a lot of fun this year, folks. Still, after 50 years of hockey in this town, we still have not tasted a championship. And that is a bitter pill for me to swallow. I wanted it badly. I know the players did as well. My father, who moved from Canada after World War II, met a nice American girl from Village Springs, Alabama. Married her, stayed married for 50 years before she died. Gave me I, the love of hockey that I have still this day. Told me before he died he just wanted to see the Maple Leafs win a cup before he died. Of course, that didn't happen. Then in the 90s, I got a job with the Birmingham Bulls. <clears throat> and he simply said, Jody, the Leafs may not win it, but I'd like to see you with the Bulls win a championship so you can see how it tasted. So you can see how it is. Well, Dad died before any of it could happen. I really wanted to go back, and I mean this, Last year and this year, I wanted to be able to go back to the cemetery and say, Dad, it happened. But sometimes it's just not meant to be. The players are more dejected than I am, but I promise you, this one hurts. Okay. That's about all I can say. It's been a lot of fun. I, I appreciate you guys. With the patience you've showed me all year long, I appreciate putting up with me and some of the silly things I've done and said, and I apologize if I've offended anyone. I, um, I love this game. I love this team. So I don't apologize for the passion. But either way, thank you for your support. Many people have shared that with me. I am different. Greg Drevin, he's different. Pat Johnson's different. We're not professionals. We just love the sport of hockey. We're passionate about it, and we call this game like we see it, and I do it like I'm sitting on my couch with you watching it. It's just not meant to be this year. So I want to thank Joe Stroud for all the, 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 the things he's done for me all year long, the ownership of this team as well. Kurt Dingham calling me out in, uh, over the summer to get me to come back and do this again as an owner. Uh, I want to thank Clint Scherf in the office for helping Drevany and myself and Pat and anyone else. He's known Clint for 30 years. He's There's not a better person I know I've ever met in my life than Clint Scherf. All of this to say we're family. All of us love and know each other. We'll be back. Good Lord willing, we'll be back next year. And hopefully, hopefully, There'll be that one extra person we add to this hockey team that gets us over the hill, that gets us over the hump. So thank you, everyone, for joining us this year. It's over, but thank you very much for joining us. For Greg Drevening, for Pat Johnson, for Joe Stroud, Clint Scherf, Ray Pack, Michael Bell, Andrew in the office as well. Everyone that's done something for me, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it and thank you. And I know Greg Drevin, he does as well. 